I searched uh, on online medium uh, which kind of test series are uh, helpful for me. And there I came uh, to know about Baiju's exam prep test series. It uh, made me uh, uh, feel more confident with respect to exam, more accurate, more precisive. At the end, I was able to speak to myself that no doubt whatever the level of paper comes. Hello students, welcome to the Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight, a show where we bring our toppers into the spotlight and listen to their inspirational preparation journey for the gate examination. Yes, this is Rakesh Talreja, your host for today. And today we have a student who comes from Surat, Gujarat. He always had higher aspirations in life and with his determination, he has secured All India Rank 2 in the Electrical Engineering in the GATE 2022 examination. Yes, here we have Vandit Patel. So Vandit, congratulations, a big congratulations from the entire Baiju's Exam Prep family on this uh, huge achievement. Thank you, thank you so and much. And welcome to the Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight. Thank you so much. Sir. So to start off, uh, tell me something about yourself, your educational background, where do you come from and etc, etc. Um, so basically, my, I have done my B.Tech from uh, Nirma University, Ahmedabad and I am passed out fr uh, in 2020. Okay. So after 2020, I, uh, I, aspired for, uh, I aspired for GATE examination and uh, I appeared for uh, GATE 2021. Okay. Although I had done my preparations good in 2021, but I, have, I had left some uh, loopholes, I had left some syllabus, I had other kind, other kind of mistakes which a serious aspirant should not do. Okay. And due to that particular reasons, I, uh, I had a rank of 842. Okay. So, um, like it was uh, uh, the initial journey was like uh, GATE 2021 with All India rank of 842 okay. and after that my journey began for 2022. Right. So, this is a clear message to the students as we keep on telling you that even if you have maybe 3 digit or 4 digit rank also in the first attempt and if you have the full determination that yes, you prepared hard but there were some shortcomings or some loopholes as one that mentioned definitely give a good try and maybe it's a single digit or double digit rank in the next year so you already mentioned one that you started uh, after uh, your graduation completed so uh, could you please tell me ki, uh, what was the driving force ki, why you wanted to appear for gate uh, they, you know because when we are studying sometimes we are demotivated but there is a force ki, ye paana hai mereko, ye mereko lena hi hai. so what was the driving force with Vandit? Uh, so earlier what happened like my my main reason for this gate was earlier I decided that I'll appear for civil service examination with electrical engineering as an option. Okay, great. Uh, I would not take electrical engineering like, uh, okay, I love electrical, so I'll go with the option. I have to prove myself that I am eligible for electrical engineering as an optional subject. Correct. I have uh, seen many toppers interview of civil service examination who have electrical or engineering as a background. Yes. And all of them has one thing common in them. They have a decent gate rank. So my first and foremost thing uh, which I made up in my mind was I must have a two digit or a single digit rank so that I can I can have some confidence in the, no I'll be I'm eligible for electrical engineering option I'll uh, I'll do good in that in civil service examination so I had always that target ki nahi, two digit or single digit chahiye matlab chahiye. Bilkul. So as you mentioned, you wanted to prove yourself and I believe uh, GATE is one of the toughest uh, competitive examination for engineers and getting All India Rank 2 means you have proven yourself technically absolutely, there is no doubt and hence you can make your path for civil services if yes, you wish sir. to aspire. So as I mentioned kiya ki GATE is one of the toughest competitive exam. So definitely when you are doing this preparation, there will be some hurdles in the beach. So could you elaborate on that, what kind of problems you have faced in this 2022 gate preparation? So as soon as the uh, 2021 gate ka result came, that was all in the rank of 842. Okay. Uh, immediately I told myself that what would be my result if I had completed that 30% of the syllabus. Okay. So, my brain has given you a answer that if I had completed with 30% of the syllabus with a decent amount of practice, rank would not have been 842. It would have been either 8 or 4 or 2. Okay. <laughs> so, I thought I'll give GATE 2022 a shot. And for three mistakes that were I had committed in GATE 2021, which were first of all the syllabus which I told you, I did not attempt even a single test in GATE 2021. And uh, I did not solve any questions apart from the previous year question. Okay. 
सो दिस थ्री थिंग्स आई हैड टू ओवरकम इट सो इमीडिएटली आई कंप्लीटेड दैट थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ द रिमेनिंग सिलेबस एंड स्टार्टेड एंड आई किक स्टार्टेड माई प्रिपरेशन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट मे ओके एंड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट मे टू फेब्रुवरी सो माई कीप लाइक वॉट आई यूज टू डू वॉज आई हैव टू टेक माई सब्जेक्ट अलॉन्ग विथ इट अलॉन्ग विद द रिविजन पार्ट सो वॉट आई यूज टू डू वॉज uh first uh, for i used to give for like i i had started with networks mm. uh i completed networks in 15 uh, 15 17 days uh, with a decent amount of practice mm. then i moved to subject number 2 mm. now when i was doing subject number 2 i had uh, given 4 hours every day to network so that i will not forget network mm. and i can ma- maintain a decent command over network okay right similarly such subjects com- uh, sub uh, two subjects completed i will add that two subject as a revision and yes. move on to the third subject right as and when the subject completion is completed i will increase my time for revision and decrease my time 100%. for uh, the uh, subject which i am preparing now so this continued for like 3 4 months and when 6 uh, 7 uh, subjects were completed it was becoming a tough uh, tougher for me to maintain a balance between the revision and doing uh, subject completion but i did it i i used to study for like 15 16 hours a day okay. and used to practice a lot used to give test series a lot and yeah so um, little bit uh, you know extending this topic so you know there are some general queries with the students uh, uh ki uh, when should i complete my syllabus so many people wait that i should finish my syllabus in november december then start revising so already you gave a strong message that you should not wait till the end for the revision yeah. you can start revising uh, uh, the when you start the second subject you can start revising the exactly, earlier subject that's the best way to go and revision is as equally important so uh, what is your opinion on previous year questions uh, what is the role of previous year questions in a journey of student and uh, as well as the test people neglect the test series and they try to keep it pushing at the last but wo hota hai na last kabhi aata nahi hai last kabhi nahi aata syllabus kabhi complete hota nahi hai matlab 100% syllabus complete there is always one topic left there is exactly minimum one topic left to hame kab se test series focus karna chahiye aur previous year questions kaise karne chahiye sir so first uh, let us speak come to the previous year questions yeah, definitely. so uh, previous year question mein maine generally students ko dekha hai that if uh, like i am from electrical engineering background then i'll prefer uh, normally a general student would prefer electrical uh, only previous year questions of electrical correct but i would advise students just don't be focused only on electrical engineering like there is control system subject networks exactly. signal system it is common to electrical ec as well as in practice all three uh, all three branches questions because i, I always i believe that previous year questions are the best possible designed questions exactly they are framed by iit they are actually asked in gate exam so it they are the best possible questions right so uh, if a student has completed uh, all th- this previous year questions i would also advise students like uh, in electrical we have digital electronics as hmm. a subject and it's very easy as far as electrical engineering electrical is concerned and definitely uh, and normally student even ignore electrical pyqs in it okay but on the contrary i had done electrical previous year question ec in as well as computer science computer science correct. i went up to uh, that level that i don't want to miss anything i don't want that iit takes an advantage of uh, my carelessness hmm. because uh, what i feel is gate is an exam which makes us repent for each and every mistake we commit exactly so uh, this was all about pyqs so yeah so i would just like to mention here that yes we also keep telling students that pyqs are important because you know they are made by iits as you are telling and if you are able to solve 20 years of pyqs at least yeah. so why not the 21st year because the yes, same sir. body is questions will not repeat but the same body is making so if you are comfortable with that level next year will have confidence going into the exam and also try like control system network try for ec double e both so we keep on telling maybe students uh, how seriously they take i don't know but at least a current all india rank 2 is speaking those words so guys these uh, previous year questions are very important and it's just like you know very precious for you so handle them with uh, care yes so yeah coming to the mock test and uh, test series test part test. when the student should start and what is the role of mock tests uh, so like uh, test series can be a part of revision as well yes um, if we uh, like uh, for, if we take the uh, part test and subject is like uh, subject is mm. they can be a part of revision like i had practiced for uh, more than 320 tests mm. so for me test series was a revision now what i do what i used to do in test series like uh, so when when i give uh, test series of a sub- certain subject uh, 
uh, I used to uh, take screenshots of uh, the questions which I did not attempt, the questions uh, which uh, I made wrong and the good questions which I was able to solve but I had to struggle a bit. Hmm. And this uh, screenshot, I, with the help of this screenshot, I used to make a word file of it. And this, this, this word file was a source of my revision, daily revision. Even if the question repeats, I used to solve that question again and again, so that my that particular concept stays in my mind. Hmm. And normally, I have seen students that uh, test series baad mein karenge. Pehle hmm. achhe se p, ye khatam kar lete. No. Test series is not just uh, like, um, it, it is not, it is uh, to analyze our mistakes. Mm. It helps us to analyze that how much in depth we have covered that subject so that if we have pehle pata chal jata hai, to hum pehle cautious ho jayenge aur us subject pe work on kar sakte hai. Baad mein agar karne kahe, to ek to confidence bhi down ho jayega and will not have that time to work on it. Right. So, and as far as mock test is concerned, uh, अगर uh, if we have uh, completed like 75 to 80 percent of the syllabus, mm -hmm. we must start appearing mock tests. Exactly. We must not think कि अब पूरा जो खत्म किया है subject उसको फिर से revise करके करूँगा। ये ये सब नहीं। Because अगर parallel if we have done parallel revision, तो वो it will stay in our mind. Exactly. So if I ask you, including mock test, topic wise test, subject test, how many tests roughly you might have given? 320 to 350. Wow, wow guys. So that's that's an extreme big figure. So I think, uh, I, can I say that this is one of the biggest factor for your success? Yes, sir. On 23rd January, I had completed like uh, my uh, last test I had, I had given on 23rd of January. Right. And that very day, I knew no one in India have ever practiced such uh, like uh, such number of questions like I did. Yeah, I'm even, even, even uh, from my 11 years of experience, I can say that, yeah, probably one day is speaking true, more than 300 tests is really a big achievement. So guys, uh, I don't say maybe you are able to do 300 or not, but at least yeah, you have to you know do the maximum number of uh, topic wise tests, subject tests, mock tests, everything. Don't only focus on topic wise or mock tests. Every type yeah, of test every type of test you should follow. So uh, Vandit, how did you come to know about Baiju's example platform? Maybe through some friends or yeah. advertisements or YouTube. And how did uh, the platform of Baiju's exam prep help you? I searched uh, on online medium. Uh, which kind of test series are uh, helpful for me. Right. So uh, there I came uh, to know about Baiju's exam prep test series okay. and I did not think even or twice to enroll for it. Okay, okay. So how did the Baiju's exam prep test series help you? What unique features you liked about it or what is the best thing that you can say about that? Uh, so uh, when I had uh, started giving uh, Baiju's exam prep test series, so like uh, it had a decent uh, decent amount of level above mm. gate level questions. Okay. Uh, the same uh, similarity in the pattern, mm. uh, which uh, made me quite uh, quite uh, acquainted uh, with respect to the exam point of view, and uh, it uh, made me uh, uh, feel more confident with respect to exam, yes. more accurate, more precisive, and uh, yes, uh, in a nutshell, it improved my confidence level, and at the end. I was able to speak to myself that no doubt whatever the level of paper comes, tough, moderate, easy, I'll score decent. Were you worried uh, on the exam day? Um, not so much like I was uh, actually uh, from the previous night I was like uh, more excited I want to face it. Right. Because you have prepared to the fullest, na, so you are ready to yes. face that challenge. Uh, so, I, I used to believe that I, I had uh, given 50 mock tests, full length mm -hmm. tests, 50, mm -hmm. 5 zero. Right. Okay. So I had treated like this gate exam is my 51st mock test. Okay. So I was quite ready for it. So I used to like, oh, okay, come on, come on gate, I'll fight with you. Yes. So uh, just after looking into the results, how your family members are feeling now, how you are feeling and uh, where does one that wants to see himself uh, three years or four years down the line? Uh, sir, so uh, as, as soon as the results were declared, uh, I was happy. My family was much more happy th happier than me. They have seen my struggle throughout the, uh, throughout the time. They were even more confident on me than I was, uh, I was confident on myself. Mm. And as far as my future is concerned, I, I have slight, uh, I'm confused between uh, MTech at IIC Bangalore or to join PSUs. Okay. So like, I'm very much confused. Yeah. So maybe you are able to take up a call on that because yes, your sir. rank is such that uh, you have every IIT, you have IIC, you have every PSU that is open for you. So yes, sometimes sir. taking that decision becomes tough. Yeah. yeah. As far as IIC concerned, I can definitely tell you that if you choose the path from IIC, 
going to definitely gain a lot of knowledge since i have graduated yeah. from that one but yeah you can take your decision wisely take your time and you know see where where do you want to see yourself 5 years or 4 years down the line accordingly make a decision that will help sure. you uh, so vandita i think there is one more crucial uh, question with respect to student point of view ki kya hota hai jab hum exam mein jaate hain maine aisa feel kiya ki kai bahut sare bright students the but they were able to you know मे बी नॉट एबल टू गेट दैट रैंक बिकॉज दे वर पैनिक हो गए उस थ्री आवर्स में बिकॉज दैट थ्री आवर्स इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट सो हाउ वॉज योर टाइम मैनेजमेंट इन द थ्री आवर्स वेदर यू स्टार्टेड विद डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन इजी क्वेश्चन एक्सेट्रा सर सो आफ्टर गिविंग दिस लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ टेस्ट सीरीज आई हैव कम टू नोट कि वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज द थिंग विच क्रिएट्स पैनिक इन प्रेशर इन द एग्जाम इट्स नॉट अ टफ पेपर क्रिएट्स अ पैनिक टफ क्वेश्चन क्रिएट अ पैनिक इट्स दैट मॉडरेट क्वेश्चन ऑन विच वी स्पेंड अ लॉट एंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम so that time uh, uh, the time which we spend on each question that creates a panic mm. e- even if the paper is tough we can handle it very calmly mm. all we need to do is just pay, uh, just skip that question don't uh, we we should not waste our time on such questions yes definitely so that uh, we must bound ourselves in stipulated amount of time Correct. and don't take uh, any kind of exam yeah. pressure sometimes you know students will take the some questions on ego ki like suppose uh, you know power system yeah. is my favorite subject and uh, i should able to solve it but suppose that first question of power system is extremely tough it may so i mean yeah. because iit is unpredictable yeah. and they will take it on ego ki no whether it is 10 minutes or 30 minutes i will first solve that question but they don't think that in that 30 minutes maybe they can solve 10 15 questions so yeah uh, so in such situation uh, such situation it's advisable for students to take their ego and pack it in a bag and yes. go put it out of out yeah, of the because, exam because you have to score you don't have to show your single yes. question to anyone So yeah thank you for your valuable words once again uh, Vandit uh, you know so guys this was Baiju's exam prep spotlight uh, uh, this is the story of AIR2 electrical engineering Vandit Patel and we'll be bringing you several more stories uh, so stay tuned to the Baiju's exam prep spotlight once again heartiest congratulations to thank Vandit so much, for this sir. very big success thank you so much uh, hope you achieve whatever you want to achieve in your future endeavors also thank, thank you, you so much thank you students